video, you will learn how to restore your Mac to factory settings. There are three different ways to restore your Mac, using your Apple ID, internet recovery mode, and using a bootable drive. I will show you the steps to restore your Mac using each method. You can choose the option that best fits your needs and the one that it is compatible with your computer. I made this video user friendly so you can fast forward to the option that is best for you. For demonstration purposes, I am going to use this iMac late 2009 21.5 inch. Ok, we're going to start with the easy one, which is using your Apple ID. Before attempting to restore, the first step it is very important, I repeat, very important. Open your App Store and you need to link your Apple ID with the OS X that you are going to install. If you don't do this important step, you might get this error. And if you made it to this point and get this error, that means that it is too late because by this point, you will have deleted the original OS X and now you will need another computer to be able to create a bootable drive and reinstall the OS X. So save yourself some headaches and follow these instructions. Look for the OS X that you need to format to. At the moment of filming this video, Carolina is the latest OS X, so download Carolina. If you need an older version, like Mojave, if you look for it on the App Store, you are not going to find it because Apple it is hiding it. I will leave a direct link in the description of the video, just click on it and it will redirect you to the App Store and you will see the download option. Same with High Sierra, the link it is in the description below. These older OS X versions are not going to be available forever on the App Store, Apple can remove them at any time, so keep that in mind. Ok, now that you have linked your Apple ID with the OS X, we can move to the next step. Turn off your computer. You are going to turn it back on, but before pressing the power button, get ready to press and hold Command and R on your keyboard. Press the power button and after the chime, press and hold the keys. Here we are in recovery mode. Before installing a new copy of the OS X, we need to format the hard drive. Click Disk Utility, select your hard drive. In this case, it is Macintosh HD. Click Erase, type a name. I always use Macintosh HD, so I am not going to change it. On Format, make sure Mac OS X Extended Journal it is selected and click Erase. Once it's done, close this utility and select Install Mac OS X. Here, I am using footage of one of my older videos so you can see the next steps. Once you click continue, here is a part where Apple will check your Mac to see if it is linked to one of the OS X versions on their servers. Follow the instructions, sign in with your Apple ID and you are good to go. Now it is time to wait for the installation to be completed. The second option to restore it is to use Internet Recovery Mode. Internet Recovery allows you to reinstall the OS X version that was factory preloaded on your Mac at the time of the purchase. This option is also very simple to do. Something important to keep in mind is that Internet Recovery it is only available for Mac computers from 2010 and newer. Late 2009 models and older are not compatible. For these older computers, you will need to use a bootable drive if you want to format or install a new copy of the OS X. If your computer it is 2010 or newer, here is how to format using internet recovery mode. With your computer off, press the power button and after the chime, press and hold option, command and R on your keyboard. A few seconds later, you will see this glove spinning. Then it will give you the option to choose your Wi-Fi network. Once you connect to your Wi-Fi, your computer will start downloading the packages. Here, you need to be patient because depending on your internet speed, this could take between 10 and 30 minutes. Once it is done downloading the packages, it will take you to recovery mode. Here, before installing the new copy of the OS X, we need to format the hard drive. Click Disk Utility, select your hard drive, in this case it is Macintosh HD, click Erase, type a name, I always use Macintosh HD so I am not going to change it. On Format, make sure Mac OS X Extended Journal it is selected and click Erase. Once it's done, close this utility and select Reinstall Mac OS X. Follow the instructions and you're good to go, the OS X will be installed. The third method and the most popular it is to use a bootable drive. Here is how you can create a USB bootable drive. First of all, you will need an 8 gig or higher capacity USB drive. You will also need the terminal command to create the bootable drive. 
The command it is different for each OS X version. I uploaded another video to YouTube on how to create a bootable drive and also how to edit the commands. The commands are on the description of that video so I recommend you to go and watch that video first, copy the command of the OS X that you need, then come back and continue watching this video. The link it is on the description below. In this case I will create a bootable USB drive with El Capitan. I already have a copy of the OS X El Capitan in my application folder. It is very important to have the copy of your OS X in your applications folder, otherwise it won't work. Ok, the next step is to format your USB. Open disk utility, select your USB and click erase. Make sure that format it is Mac OS X extended journal and scheme is GUID partition map and then click on erase. Now select the volume of your USB, click erase, type a name, I will type Capitan, again make sure format it is on Mac OS X extended journal and click erase. Ok, your USB is ready for the next step, open terminal and here is where you are going to paste the code that you copied from my other video. I have the codes on my notes so I am just going to copy and paste from here. I want you guys to go watch my other videos so you guys understand the codes and how to edit them. It will be super complicated if I explain everything here so to make it simple I uploaded the explanation on the other video. Ok, paste the code in terminal and hit enter. It will ask you for your password, type it in and hit enter again. It will start creating the bootable drive and here you need to be patient because this could take between 20 to 50 minutes. All depends on how fast your computer is. Right now it is 324. I am going to stop recording here and continue once it is done. 339 and the process is done. The process was fast for me but it could take longer for you. You now have a bootable USB ready to use. Insert your USB on the computer that you want to restore and with your computer off press the power button and after the chime press and hold option key. Here you will see the recovery and the USB that you just created. Select recovery. Before installing the new copy of the OS X, we need to format the hard drive. Click Disk Utility, select your hard drive, in this case Macintosh HD, click Erase, type a name, again I always use Macintosh HD, so I am not going to change it. On Format, make sure Mac OS X Extended Journal it is selected and click Erase. Once it's done, close this utility and here is an important pro tip that I am going to give you. Select Utilities on the top left menu and click on Terminal. Type date and hit enter. Again, type date 0712122318 and hit enter. We just changed the date back to 2018. Changing the date it is important so we prevent this famous error. Many people have problems with this error when they are trying to restore from a bootable drive. Changing the date solves this problem. Ok, once you change the date click and restart and after the chime press and hold the option key. Select your bootable drive, click on install OS X and follow the easy instructions. Wait for the computer to load and do all the good stuff and you are done. After a few minutes you will be on the window to start setting up your new copy of the OS X. And that's it for today. If you liked this video please share, hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.